Hi, today we're going to discuss and build this PWM circuit. I take in this one from the MAX 492. This is a quad pump configuration. But instead, in our experiment today, we are going to use LM324 since we don't have this IC MAX 492. Nowadays, uh, PWM becoming more and more popular in controlling the power uh, delivered to your load. Uh, a PWM could uh, adjust or could modulate uh, the power to your load from zero up to 100%. That is a good PWM uh, circuit could deliver that one zero to 100% to your load. For example, uh, you can deliver 50% on, 50% off, 50% on, 50% off. That is called a 50% duty cycle. And uh, you can adjust this one also to using 70% on, 30% off, 70% on, 30% off. That is called 70% duty cycle. Or 100% duty cycle. That means there's no more chopping anymore. 100% will be delivered to your load. So let us see how this one was built. Uh, in order for us to output a PWM, we need a carrier wave or a triangular wave and compare that one with a modulating signal uh, called this uh, mm, or either your control, control signal and compare that one and then you will have the PWM output so how it really works so this is the quad of amp uh, IC uh, this side here this is your uh, triangular wave generator and this is your main comparator and this is the, uh, this is the modulating uh, signal or your control voltage and here uh, okay so in the triangular wave generator the first op amp that will operate here would be this one because uh, the inverting non-inverting input is tied up to the uh, high uh, control voltage and the other one the non-inverting in, uh, the inverting input is tied to the high Hi. So this other op amp will be a sinking mode, while the other one is a uh, sourcing mode. So this uh, configuration also is a smith trigger, and at the same time, an uh, integrator. So uh, once the voltage here goes high, it cannot go high right away because of this integrator. So it will give a slowly linear raising of the voltage. <coughs> and once uh, uh, the voltage will rise up here through this uh, 100 nanofarad capacitor and will charge through this uh, 5 kilo ohm uh, timing resistor and it will sink through this other IC. So the sinking of this other IC will help building up the voltage in this uh, integrator in this uh, uh, capacitor here so once it is building up the voltage the voltage at this level will raise up slowly and it will uh, the voltage of this uh, smith regular resistor also will rise up slowly until uh, it becomes 52 percent of your uh, input uh, of, your, uh, of this input voltage here so once it reaches 50% of the voltage here if your uh, integrator will reach 52% of your uh, input voltage here this uh, sourcing uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, this sinking uh, op amp here will fire up will give high output here high output here and will discharge your capacitor and this one also will become 
uh, will become your sourcing I uh, will become your sourcing uh, op amp and this one will be, be uh, this one will become your uh, sinking op amp and this one will become your sourcing op amp so this one will become high and this one will become low through this voltage here high voltage here will give to your inverting input so this one will be become off and once this one become off this one will become high this uh, capacitor here will discharge also passing to this the same resistor and uh, passing to this the same resistor uh, this is negative this is the your positive so it will discharge through here sync to your uh, to this open so this voltage here will drop down slowly at the same rate the same rate of raising at the same rate uh, of falling because it will pass to the same uh, resistor so it will give a ramp signal like this a triangular wave continuously continuously and then this one will be fed to your uh, main comparator here and this is your uh, modulating uh, this is uh, input voltage here modulating voltage here and then you will compare that one and through this uh, comparator you will have the PWM output you can vary the duty cycle of this uh, the duty cycle of this uh, uh, op amp and this one you will fed to your uh, transistor here and then to your load so here for example this is your control voltage your uh, control signal here your control signal here and this is a triangular wave once your control signal will touch to the tip of this uh, triangular wave your uh, your PWM will start to give an output of very very small part of the power of knee. So it's just touching there, so this, that's just a very small pulse. And then once you increase your control voltage here, it will pass to the tip of this triangular wave and see, look at the power output to your circuit so this one will give high output here now continue to raise your control voltage and this one will give the corresponding output PWM output and the duty cycle is increasing now see and if you continue to raise the control voltage of that here so it means this one you're raising the power So here, if you're going to raise your control voltage more, what your power delivered to your load would be maximum, maximum given to your load. Or if you reduce your power control voltage here, the power delivered to your load will reduce. Yeah. Um, let just this part. So, uh, through this uh, varying of your control signal, you can also vary the output power given to your load so 
if your control voltage is below your triangular wave so it means it is zero region and if it is within the triangular wave you can vary from zero to 100 percent and this above here is 100 percent already so that's how it works